Hey guys, Troy from TR Tech Tactical and Survival. I'm gonna process the girl here. Um, she's frozen though. She's a brick, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. She's a solid brick. Now I gotta let her down a little. See, there's no flex in her. This is a problem. I've never processed a frozen meat before like this. There is no flex. So I'm going to get her down so I can reach up in the legs here and get the skin off. And then I will proceed with butchering and uh, processing the meat. So she doesn't try to slide down on me. Now I've got my uh, rubber gloves. When processing, processing meat, I want to use my gloves. Now she's got a little bit of a mess in her belly. My uh, you may remember I said when I fired on her, my glove stuck in the trigger guard. I had heavy winter gloves and my gloves got jammed in a trigger guard and I pulled a little and gut shot her. Well, I shot her belly, her stomach, which made a mess. So um, the rib meat I am not going to be able to take on this deer. And uh, she's got quite a smell to her from that, which is not nice. Anyway, she's a block of ice. It has been bitter cold. So, forgive the mess in the garage. I've mentioned before, we're transitioning. Uh, we're still unpacking and moving and stuff, and we've got a lot going on in the two houses. Anyway, I've never processed a block of ice before is frozen as she is. Now because the skin's been on, I'm not keeping the skin this year. Um, if you're going to keep the skin and try to tan the hide, you want to get it off right away because uh, deterioration starts immediately after you've shot the animal. So in this case we're not going to be doing that. So I'm just going to cut roughly and uh, again I'm, I'm going to have to be careful here because of what happened when her belly opened up it was messy so I'm gonna to have to shave with a fillet knife the top surface of this meat once I get that leg off and I'm not gonna be able to take any of the uh, the rib meat I'm gonna to try to get in on the back straps on the inner back straps I think you call it the tenderloin but anyway so I'm gonna cut around the leg now I'm no expert, I'm just doing what I do. I haven't been professionally taught or anything. But basically I want to come through. Yeah, look, that's that's frozen. This is frozen. So this is not gonna be easy at all. So I'm gonna come through here and cut a strip. And as I said, I'm not worried about the um keeping the meat or the uh, skin in this case. Come around the, the leg, I'm going to cut that. I don't want to cut the tendon and I don't want to hit the bone with the knife and dull the knife so I gotta be careful there. That tendon is what's holding her together. Yeah this is tough with that being frozen. The good thing is she uh, the meat hasn't had a chance to deteriorate because it's so cold. It's absolutely freezing in here. It's so cold. Get 
cut off that tenon. I don't want to cut that tenon. That's what's holding her up, and we don't want to knock that off. So I'm going to get this cut done. It's, it's not easy because she's frozen. Now I'm going to start peeling that leg down and I'll start on the other side. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, with much, much work, there's literally ice under the skin as I work. So I'm trying to keep my hands clean and not touch. I want to swing her around and show you what I got going on so far. I've got around the legs cleared off okay and without touching her and contaminating my gloves I've got down to the tail now in here I was having some trouble because it's pure ice and I, I got a little bit of meat on the skin um, now I'm going to switch knives and I'm going to cut off that tail I want to use a different knife because I want to keep the meat clean but once I get that tail off the job's going to go so much nicer now I'm getting into a little bit of rib meat but I'm not keeping that anyway because um, I can't eat that. Now up in here is going easier than I expected because the only thing that's contaminated is this layer of fat which is coming off very nicely. So when I'm done scanning her I'm gonna come back with a fresh pair of gloves and I'm gonna shave off that little bit of contaminated fat layer here in the, in the um, inside of the thighs and I'll have clean pure fresh meat that I'll be working with. That's great. So, very good. Again, the ribs, I'm just cutting along with the skin. You just can't, when you've gut shot a deer, you just can't save that. You, there's too much uh, contamination in the rib meat. So all that's going to go away. It's sad, but it is how it is. My finger just wasn't getting in there in that trigger with the heavy winter gloves I had. Um, this is my second year with my Savage Axis 308 different trigger guard. I'm used to the Mazinda Gat, a Russian sniper, battle rifle, made for harsh, hard, cold, hardcore cold winters, and I never had trouble with an Agat. Last year was warm, so I didn't have to have such warm gloves. It is what it is. So anyway, I've got the, uh, the leg pretty much exposed. I'm going to cut that tail, and we'll continue peeling it down. I've got to go in and warm up because I'm dealing with pure ice on my hands and it's absolutely freezing. I'm going to raise my camera some. I'm going to raise my deer a little bit because now I've got the tail off and the skin starts to come undone a little bit easier now. So, oops, I wanted to raise her up, not lower. Heavier than oh, because I'm going over the board. Might have to take my gloves off to do this. It's not as easy with the rubber gloves on and going over this wood. straddle that board, get her up higher so I can work better now, is the idea here. It's...
Now, make sure there's enough tension on that rope. Now it should start coming off easier. She should peel right off there for the most part. She's a she's got a lot of fat on her. There's uh, occasions where I'm getting too deep in the fat here that I've got to give her a little cut now and then. And up in the rib meat here. But otherwise, from this moment, skinning goes a little bit easier. She has a lot of fat. This is the fattiest deer I've ever seen, to be honest, for what I was, what I've had in the past. There's a lot of fat on this girl. She was eating well in my garden this year. The going is slower for me because it's so cold on my hands. It is absolutely freezing. Otherwise, I'd be done already. It's not that big a deal to skin a deer but it's so frozen. So I've got into the fat a bit and I've got to loosen up on the front sides here a little, so. Once you start to catch the meat up in here, you gotta use the knife some more. And then I wanna grab the skin from the inside, keep my, my gloves from getting contaminated. But, oh yeah, it's frozen. A lot of ice in that. I'll keep going. Well guys, there she is. You're looking at her bad side. Her good side. She's still stiff. Ooh, no flexibility here. Well, maybe I'll have to take the camera around to show you her good side. She is stiff. This took me about an hour, which it shouldn't have. It should have been a 10 minute job, but she is frozen. I got her all the way down to the head and Melanie said it's lunchtime and when I come back, we'll start processing her.